day two, headed to my spot. My GPS says I will be there at 5.36. First cast is 5.30, so I'll be able to start fishing when I get there. In practice, I caught these fish flipping, but yesterday the wacky rig was in heavy rotation. Same thing happened to my brother who was fishing on that side of the lake. Um, seems to be something they've changed. Fish always like to change uh, on tournament day, and unfortunately they changed to the spinning rods. But that's kind of tournament fishing nowadays. I've thrown either a wacky rig or a drop shot for some of the fish that have counted towards my best five for every tournament this year. Yeah, four events. It's just spinning rods. It's the way, the way of bass fishing these days. It is a finesse game for the most part anymore. They're just, they get fished for a lot. But, gonna get over there, gonna try some different stuff first thing, cause I, the first hour was dead yesterday. Nothing going on and then it started to pick up. So I'm gonna try some top water this morning. I may throw that wacky rig around more, even though that's not really a morning bait in low light. They just, they weren't doing anything in the morning yesterday. So hopefully I can make use of that first hour today, get something done anyway. Catch up with you when I start fishing. Bad cast. They will eat the top water. I guess it's bad luck not to measure him. Even though he's a he's a hefty 12 inches. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. He's a fish. He's a fish. I guess Matter of principle, we'll measure him. Small one again. Oh wow, a mega rock bass on a spook. That's freaking crazy right there. I think we got pickerel trying to eat the spook. Oh, it's a bass. It's a bass trying to eat it. And he missed it. That'll work, that'll work. Ain't a great big one, but I will take that because we weren't doing squat yesterday morning first thing. Yep, all good, gonna submit it.
I'm making fishing a wacky rig in the grass as interesting as I possibly can make it. Yeah, he's, he's a little better. 16 something. Even 16s get the security net today. Five anyway. There we go, 18 and a quarter. So all I'm really doing here is working my way around in this general area. There's some clumps of vegetation that these fish are relating to. I'm pitching that wacky rig out next to it, letting it fall. It takes a long time, very slow fishing, but it was definitely the best way to get bit. I had rotated through some other baits, experimented a little, and it was no bites on anything else, and you could catch them on a wacky rig.
big one. Stay on the wall, stay on the wall. There's another one of the ones that count. Yeah, I caught a good one off that patch yesterday. There's still fish here. Plenty. Plenty of bass. How long are you? Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, that's that's what we needed to see today. Gonna let this fish go. Yeah. He's got an attitude. There we go, 20 incher. First 20 incher that I've caught during the tournament. Heck yeah. Big man, I don't know why that fish felt so big. Man, he felt big. I was hoping he'd be bigger. This is where I caught my biggest fish in practice was right here. Still a good one though. Should upgrade. Eh, might not. I don't remember what our next one to go is. Man, he ate it though. Oh yeah, he's gotta upgrade. Yeah, we got a 14 and a quarter we need to get rid of. So this is a big upgrade. I hope it's 17. I hope, I don't think so, but maybe. Nope, 16 and a quarter it looks like. There we go, 16 and a quarter. I know this is probably the most exhilarating wacky rig footage you've ever seen. I'm sorry I can't bring this to the table every time.
see what he goes. I don't think I can get him to go 1675. I can't get him to I can't get him to go and he's gonna keep 16 and three quarters. Going back. So as I said in the last video, this area that I'm fishing, in practice, I made one pass through this area, like stood up on my kayak and let the wind carry me through it. And I had mid, low to mid 90s in about 30 minutes in one pass. And I was flipping. I was flipping a Texas rigged stick bait and a finesse jig. So now the sun's coming out. This has not been forecasted to happen and it was sunny in practice when I caught them so I was really looking forward to seeing if these fish would position on these vegetation clumps how they had been in practice when I caught them so well. I still don't know what made these fish change the way that they did. I tried to keep this bite honest throughout the day. I would continue to just pick that flipping stick up because I knew the potential. I knew that the odds of just dropping it on a five pounder's head and it's eating it in this vegetation was just, the odds were just so good. That's just such a good way to get a big bite. No matter where I tried it, I tried it in areas where there were so many fish in practice. And then I would kind of mosey around with the wacky rig and I would get some bites, but it just fizzled out on me. I still don't know what happened. Okay, so things aren't going great. Came to my area, I caught some fish, mostly really small ones, um, two, two good ones that I caught, you know, almost back to back and was feeling kind of excited, but I gotta get out of here. The bite's just dead. And my brother who's fishing on the other side of the lake and some other guys that are in his area, they're, they're crushing them. So my area just must not have very many fish. And I think they've either left or I caught them all. I don't know, but there's no bass boats coming through my area. And typically when you're fishing grass, or just a northern lake in general, people know where the fish live because the fish live in the same places. So apparently, this is not one of those places where a lot of fish live. Um, I don't know how I had such a misleading practice, but I'm bugging out of here, and I'm gonna go check on a smallmouth, which I don't think is even that big, and he's really far away, and I'm gonna probably use up most of my time doing whatever the heck I'm doing right now, but I stuck it out and fished around. I was getting a bite besides that little spot where I caught those 12 inches. I was getting a bite every like 40 minutes. Um, that ain't gonna work. So I had a small mouth that was spawning that I had checked on the day before but did not catch it. So I could then have it for today. There was a bit of an algae bloom started to happen. And so this place where this small mouth was, it was six feet deep. And that algae bloom got it to where you couldn't even see the bottom in six feet of water, even though the water was still relatively clear. So that smallmouth was out of the question. I tried using my forward sonar to find it, but there was a lot of grass and I just, I couldn't find him. I did have one little area nearby that had some really big fish that I had seen in practice. And I was hoping that maybe since this water clouded up, they would bite because they had been really smart and I had not been able to catch any in practice. And I also tried this spot on the first day and I didn't catch anything.
think he'll help. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a real good one. Okay. Okay, this is exciting. The bass here are biting. These fish haven't bit prior to right now. Just gonna let this one go. I got him to touch 18 and a half. That's a good one. Pick rolls abound. Doink. I fished around in that area, didn't have any more bites, and I had to make a decision. I had about two hours left to fish. It would take me half an hour to cross the lake. I elected to go and try the other side of the lake because I knew my brother was over there, as well as several other competitors, and they were absolutely crushing them. And it's not like I'm jumping on somebody's spot. It's kind of a community hole area. It's not very far from a launch, very well-known area. And I was just going to go and look for a place that didn't have people fishing so that I wasn't getting in anybody's way. But I wanted to make a couple upgrades because I knew that even a quarter inch at this point in the day was huge. And I just wasn't really getting any bites. help it won't be by much or maybe it will he's been caught before I know that he looks long I don't think he's like 18 but he might be 17 I hope he 
even a quarter inch would help. Okay, 17. All right, 17 and a quarter. Going back. Not going to show you the whole sequence, but basically I spotted a frag garter that I knew would be close to helping, but I didn't know how close. Since I was in an unfamiliar area, I knew that it would be worth me spending some time on this fish just because nothing was guaranteed after this. Especially when you're getting down to crunch time, every little quarter inch helps, so I elected to fish for it. Uh-oh, he might be too small, but I knew he'd be so close, but I had to try. He might not help. I'll feel real stupid if he doesn't. I don't think he's going to. He's got to be like 16 and three quarters. Oh, I think I can get him to touch 17. There he is. Wrapping it up here at Cayuga. Ewing's right there coming in. He uh, he got me. He got me pretty good, but that's all right. I'm uh, happy that I finished out kind of strong. Got to catch a couple frag garters and almost got that one bed fish. So much better than just mindlessly working my way around on that far side where there just weren't that many fish. So yeah, gonna head it in. Hope you enjoyed. Finished up in sixth place. Not really the finish I was wanting after that really stellar first day, but I'm happy that I made some adjustments to save a few points and get a few extra dollars i ended up with eleven hundred fifty dollars for my finish next tournament is going to be on the new river at the end of july i'm really looking forward to that one stay tuned for that tournament video